Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are done with all the tutorials, all the segment of chapter 5 and in this tutorial we are back to you with the sample questions on chapter 5. In the very first question, we are trying to understand uh, different concepts which we have been through. So let's get started with this. Uh, first question is about your managers concerned that it will be difficult to assess the success of the test automation implementation unless it is possible to show that the quality of the tested software steadily improves. You have explained that the pass or fail numbers are reported at the end of the each execution but your manager wants to see this information provided automatically to a dashboard that will allow drilling down to the details. How can you automatically provide this information from the test automation software? Now, I think we have been talking about this thing uh, in, in details uh, when we came up with the tutorials and we also realized that uh, it is a typical way how exactly reports can be produced uh, to the uh, different stakeholders and we also understood how different stakeholders can have a stake when talking about the report so let's look at the option here a you cannot this information will have to be gathered manually at the end of each execution and i think we remember we have a way to present it to the dashboard that is called as publishing the report b the automated test work can be used to report this information to database and the dash dashboard can be created from the data in the database that will show the trend in the pass or fail test cases. I think this sounds most relevant thing when you talk technically about an automation tool which is capable enough to share the information to a database and the database can in turn create the dashboard for you. Let's see the other two options before we conclude. The automated test work and reports each set of test execution results to a spreadsheet that can be published showing the detailed result. Now spreadsheet is again limited to certain graphs and certain data and uh, it could be again like execution result rather than getting those creation of the reports like dashboards which could have different indicators and different uh, presentations. The TAA that is test automation engineer can record the information during execution and report that into a graphing tool that can be provided for management reporting. Now, if it is happening manually, uh, we are not actually talking about the benefits of automation then. So, uh, it has to go automatically with respect to the tool. You must have a command in built in your script which shoots out all the information to database automatically after capturing them during the runtime and then pushing it to the database. The database in turn can be connected to a dashboard tool which can represent the different graphs which you are interested in. To focus so as per the discussion as per the understanding the right answer here is B that is automated test where can be used to do so next in continuation we have the next question here to understand something different you normally start execution of an automated regression test suite at the end of the workday as it is a lengthy test occasionally the test does not complete by the start of the next work day even though it should complete within five, star, five hours of starting. What is the most efficient approach you could take to determine the cause of the problem? I think that's a good, very good scenario to understand and it could be practically possible for a lot of the other organizations as well. Let's look at the options here. A, run the test at the beginning of the day and monitor it manually. Evaluate a vendor reporting tool that measures test progress. I think that can be ruled out. We are talking about vendor reporting evaluation here. We are actually looking for the problem, which is actually with respect to uh, the time. C, supplement your staff with a night shift to monitor the test while it is running. Uh, yeah, that could be a good option, but let's see what the D has to say. Automate collection of the test execution results. Now, I think probably that has gone really way when you compare the C and D, uh, it, it, it does say that, you know, C could be probably wrong in terms of this is an unnecessary cost. You're additionally including in a staff and you are actually adding up more value to be paid to him probably in terms of night allowance or something. Uh, but when you talk about D, automated collection is inexpensive and effective as well. You will be able to determine that how many test cases have failed, how many test cases were on hold due to exception or maybe not executed 
or was waiting for the recovery scenario to execute and those things can actually give you the exact outputs uh, in terms of understanding that why a five hour execution suite is taking longer than uh, what it's supposed to take so that way is the most uh, easiest way which easily you can understand and you can handle so the right hand to the answer here is d automate collection of the test execution results and the last question from this particular chapter is three when publishing a test execution report which key attribute must the report contain so all you can expect from uh, advanced level syllabus is like most of them are scenario based but you can also expect certain straightforward questions but could be complicated to answer so all you need to do is pay attention when you are working with them so when publishing a test execution report which key attribute must be the must the report contain a test case steps b test environment c assessment of reliability of the sut and d root cause of any failure uh study from bottom d root cause of any failures i think that would be included later once the defect has been analyzed by the development team and it would be included in the defect report so can be ruled out c assessment of the reliability of the sut i think that could be analyzed or obtained after the test execution report is created with all relevant details so it could be a secondary outcome of the test execution report but not an attribute to be included whereas b test environment is i think one of the attributes when you talk about test execution report that what environment was used for the execution whereas test case steps are too specific to be included in test case uh, uh, test execution report i think that would be more with respect to the test uh, cases we can have a separate documentation because too many things to be included there so the right answer here is b test environment so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else to discuss uh, beyond this feel free to comment below so that i can answer your queries and address them well till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning